I'm Anthony Osgang. In 2018, I was offered a retrospective at the Fullerton Museum Center. And all artists know that a retrospective exhibition is really um, a sort of pinnacle. It's a seal of approval. It's a great thing. The original idea was that the exhibition would cover uh, my work from 1980 to 2020, 40 years of hard labor. <laughs> As you'd expect, the exhibition was made up mostly of my paintings. But uh, there was a section in there that would also included my custom guitars that I made to play in the Band Cat Museum. One of the reasons I was really excited about having a show at the Fullerton Museum Center is that they have uh, the Fender Room, which is basically Leo Fender, the guitar maker of Fender Guitars. It was his office and in his workroom. So I was really excited about having my music, custom musical instruments that I made in the exhibition that was right next to the Leo Fender Room. I planned on Cat Museum having a show and I could just run off stage and run right into the exhibition and grab a guitar off the wall and then run back on stage. It was going to be great, man. I was also planning on doing things like community outreach programs where I would teach art classes, uh, drunken drawing uh, with mimosas and Sunday mornings, uh, weekday afternoon classes for elementary school kids. I felt it was important not to just talk about myself, but to also show people what art is on a larger scale. After 18 months of locating paintings, dealing with collectors, just figuring out the logistics of the entire show, it was a real disappointment when in March 2020, everything fell apart when the COVID-19 uh, pandemic struck. Word came down that the show was canceled. There was no ceremony about it. It was just completely shut down. I had spent so much time along with the director getting the show together that I thought it would be an awful waste for all of that energy and effort to go to nothing. So I decided that uh, even though we didn't have the exhibition, I was going to publish an exhibition catalog. I got to work with uh, the designer, Tony Pinto. That turned out quite well. And the advantage really was that I could include work in the catalog that wasn't in the show because there was no show. And there were paintings that were far too expensive to ship from Europe to uh, Fullerton. So in a way, the catalog turned out to be a documentation of the best show I never had. <laughs>